Welcome to the short explanation of how to use the Giesemann Bluetooth AppLink Pro. You will see that it is very easy. Let's get started. Step 1. Download the Giesemann Link Pro app from the Apple App Store for Apple devices or the Google Play Store for Android devices. Step 2. Start the app and make sure that your Bluetooth is activated and all Bluetooth sharing is permitted. Important note, for most Android devices, all device authorizations must be explicitly permitted for the Link Pro app. On iOS devices, this is usually done automatically. You can find the Link Pro app in the device settings of your Android device under Apps and Notifications. Select Permissions and allow the app all permissions, in particular location sharing and, if applicable, sharing for nearby devices. As soon as all permissions for the app are enabled, marked as No Permissions Denied, communication with your fixture is possible without restrictions. On the home screen of the Link Pro app itself, directly above the I info button, you will find the system settings for location and memory sharing. Step 3. Set up your aquarium. The aquarium stands for a group of lights that are connected with each other and controlled together. You can create up to 10 aquariums. Assign a name or a designation for your aquarium. If you have several lights above your aquarium and want to control them individually, set up a separate aquarium for each light. For example, name these aquariums, tank left, tank center, tank right, etc. Step four, the app now automatically scans for Giesemann fixtures that can be added. The app will find your lights very quickly. Now select the light you want to connect from the results. You can add more lights to add these in your aquarium setup. Step five, once you have connected your light, you will be automatically redirected to the overview of your aquariums. Select your aquarium and you will be redirected to the main overview of the control settings. In the main menu of the app, you will find the following menu items to choose from. Daytime setting, setting clouds, weather simulation, lunar phase setting, presets and own profiles, general adjustments, now let's take a look at the menu items and their functions. Sun. In this section, you set your daytime schedule with any number of switching points. To do this, touch a point and you can move the LED colors for this individual day point. Alternatively, you can also enter a value by touching the percent numbers. The same applies to the time. The active switching point is always red. You can always insert additional switching points after the red point. On the first and last points in the daily cycle must be set to 0% so that the light switches off completely at night. Clouds. In this section, you can add realistic cloud flights to your daytime schedule. The illumination is then temporarily darkened at random. Thunderstorms. Here, too, there are extensive options for creating an individual simulation of a thunderstorm with lightning. Moon Settings Once you have defined your individual full moon day, the cycles are automatically executed by the app. You can determine the intensity and moon color yourself by selecting the preferred LED color channel. Important Note Please note that if you have saved your thunderstorm or moon settings, these are stored in your daily profile. If you now load a different day profile, for example, from the default settings, these personal settings are no longer active. Preset Profiles You also have the option of using preset profiles. Please note, however, that these are only recommendations and a basis for personal settings. Each aquarium and its inhabitants are individual, and many factors affect the correct light settings. Pay careful attention to your animals and their behavior. To call up the preset profile, select Light Programs in the main menu. Sending and receiving profiles to load a received profile. 
tap on the download icon. This profile must be saved before in your link folder under own files. To send profiles, go to the light profile of your choice and tap on the share icon, general settings from the main menu. You can access the general settings under aquarium settings. Here you can update the software for your aquarium, adding new lights and making all basic system settings changes. In the Wi-Fi settings, you can enter the data number and password of your Wi-Fi router. A Wi-Fi connection is not necessary to control your fixture, but enables the automatic installation of. When changing from summer to winter time, the app automatically adjusts the time and thus also the schedule of the day, available in countries that change from summer to winter time. That's basically all you need to know about the app. You can also find a quick introduction with further questions and answers on our website under Downloads.